Uh, obviously head back on a, on a road, a college station, uh, facing a very, very good football team. Uh, obviously really good players and really good schemes to, to complement that and go with it. So uh, certainly I'm going to be a challenging game. Have to match their physicality. Um, but as I, as I said to the team, coming off a uh, Saturday night, obviously uh, you know, disappointed with the result, but that we competed very hard. Played with great effort, intensity, uh, passion. We just need to we need to execute a little bit better, and make a few more plays. I mean that is the difference between winning and losing. And so if we can continue to play with that level of competitive spirit and, and fire for four quarters and compete, and we can execute a little better in some situations, then obviously you give yourself a better chance to win. So with that, I'll open up for questions. Steve. Looking back at the film, I know you know Chris did some encouraging things, but after going back and maybe watching that film, what kind of teachable moments did you see for a young guy like that after his first action? I think you just said it, right? Uh, obviously, there's some real positives there that you can point to. I think the biggest one is when when you read the defense properly and the ball comes out on time. Football is a game of timing. It doesn't matter whether it's run game, pass game, uh, in the kicking game. You know, everything's got it. You want it to time up, right? You want to play off your back foot and your drop, deliver the ball in the right time. Uh, when we did that, it looked really good. Now he made a few plays, um, being able to move around and extend plays, but a lot of times that can get you into to more trouble. And exposes you to you know blindside rushers and stuff like that. So got a lot of valuable experience. Did some good things. Uh, simply put, I just like the way the confidence he plays with. He plays with the confidence, and other people kind of gravitate towards that and gets other people going. Uh, but he's plenty smart enough to know that. Watch some clips on there, and know, yeah, yeah, there's some things I got to do a lot better too. Coach Stoop said today that. Um, they sent a clip to the SEC of uh, Cam Jones as one of those uh, dust-ups early in the game. Have you guys gotten any word from the conference regarding any uh, punishment or anything out of this way? Uh, I have not got official word from the conference. No, sir. Coach, uh, back to the Parson thing. Uh, obviously, there's been uh, a lot of mystery, of course, about who you're going to start a quarterback. That may be the same situation at A&M this week. When you begin to prepare for that, is it really more about you know schematics and personnel, and how does that kind of factor in when you know when different guys are unavailable week to week at this point in the season? Well, that's part of it. Obviously, late in the year, you know, you're going to see different different faces. Uh, I think in that particular position, a quarterback. Right, you're always you're always trying to affect that particular player the most uh, in part of your defensive game plan, and so um, you you want to have a large film bank of, of clips of seeing a guy so you can see uh, try to evaluate hey what affects him is it pressure is it coverage does he make some throws more often from this hash to the wide side of the field than the other hash uh, and so. Yeah, there's a, if you're if you're facing a new quarterback, there's always some very variability to that. Um, but I, Johnson played a heck of a game. Obviously, faced him a couple times uh, over the course of his career. He, I mean, he that guy's a tough football player. Man, he stands in there and delivers some throws and takes some shots. Like what you you appreciate seeing a quarterback do and deliver the ball, you know, big routes across the middle, stuff like that. So he played a heck of a game. He's he's had a heck of a year. I have every reason to believe if he can go, he's going to be going. Zach, obviously, with where the season's at, you guys can still qualify for a bowl game with the two. And so, how do you sort of balance, you know, trying to do that while also maybe getting some of these younger guys more experience, more you know, you know develop them a little bit more, and plan for the future, I guess. Oh, I, the only objective is to win. The only objective is to win, right? So you only you only put guys out there who you feel give you a chance to win. Right? Uh, we have young guys playing for us who we think do that. And then obviously, when you get late in the year and you start to lose some guys, 
due to injuries or they're unavailable, um, then that creates more opportunities for younger guys who are down on the depth chart. But no, make no mistake, make no mistake about it. The objective is to win games, and uh, you do that by putting your best personnel on, on the field for that particular situation. That doesn't change no matter what. Coach, you've uh, taken teams to Cal Field Board as an assistant coach, a fitness coordinator. Just talk about the atmosphere there and the challenges to play there. And they, they always show up with a heck of a crowd, right? It's a great, great environment. Uh, we've got a decent number of guys on the team who obviously were there two years ago. Uh, and so I'm, I'll leave it to them to explain what it's like playing in that environment to the other guys. But it, we'll have, a, I'm sure, decent number of guys on the travel squad who it is their first trip and uh, they should be excited for that but usually when you're in the in the middle of a game you're you're so preoccupied with what's going on in the field you don't necessarily uh, recognize the the atmosphere and the environment As far as like you know, who you started at quarterback, obviously you're the head coach, but you know, at what point during the week and what information do you and Coach Barbe need to have to kind of say, okay, this is our guy, this is who we're going with, and how we kind of build a, a game plan around that guy? Oh, but in reality, I mean, in reality, we're going to see what Will's availability is this week. Uh, you know, he's practicing and he's able to do more and more and more, and so if it's determined that he's He's able to go. He's our starting quarterback, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. And so uh, we obviously have a few days for that to get sorted out. And then if he's unavailable to go, I have no doubt you'll see both quarterbacks in the game. Um, so the reps will reflect that accordingly in practice all week. And then uh, final game plan and the situation obviously kind of determines who's in there on that particular play. So, I mean, I think it's too early to, to name your starter. How much do you feel uh, Chris has benefited the past few months or whatever, you know, since he's got the start, Philip, having, you know, Mike and Will uh, in that quarterback room as, you know, two experienced guys to help him prepare? Uh, any, anytime, you're a, anytime you're a freshman, right, you benefit from having older guys in your position group who have experience, who you can, learn from right and you can learn from them just by observing them by talking to them in the film room it is always it is always in the best interest of freshmen to learn from the older guys in their group so yes it has been beneficial to him to his credit that guy chris is a worker right? he is as passionate about learning the game of football and doing everything that he can control to prepare himself as anyone in the program. And so it has been fun to see his development. You know, he, he was here in the spring, but he actually wasn't fully cleared because he was still coming off of a knee rehab, you know, an injury to senior year of high school. So while he was able to throw, you know, seven on seven routes on air, he didn't get to actually scrimmage or play any of the spring game stuff. And so uh, he's done a great job of doing everything he can do to control his preparation and in the film room extra meeting time with coach Barbe or with Mike and Will and so I have no doubt he'll continue to do that.